A local artist and combat veteran is using her military experience to make a bold statement. Kimberly Walker recently won the art prize and a $5,000 grant for her work, Locked and Loaded. Local 12's Joe Webb spent the day with Walker, who was a veteran and an artist and an art student. My favorite things to use is a staple gun. We caught up with Kimberly Walker when she was working on a composite piece today, but she considers herself a portrait artist. She launched her art career three years ago after 17 years in the U.S. Army, including combat tours in Afghanistan, Kuwait, and Pakistan. She was drawn to do portraits of women who died in combat, but researching their stories, she uncovered something troubling. Just what I found were 46 cases of women that died under suspicious circumstances, um, uh, hinting at sexual assault. Those women's unknown and untold stories motivated Kimberly Walker to create Locked and Loaded, an installation that was recently awarded the Art Prize. That includes a $5,000 grant and a display at one of the world's largest annual public art events. It's like a memorial. Um, I'm. I've got 46 duffel bags with each of their uh, name and rank on them as almost like a tomb. It creates a seven foot high wall. Each duffel bag is locked. The keys are sunk in concrete on the installation. Next fall, Kimberly Walker will enter her junior year at the Art Academy of Cincinnati. She started art school about 30 years later than most of her classmates. Kimberly's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, and she's a leader. Tyler Hildebrand recruited Kimberly Walker to the Art Academy. He says the school is proud of Walker's art prize and her message. This is what art's supposed to do. This is it. And it comes in a whole, whole lot of different forms, um, but Kimberly's doing it in such a special way, in such a unique way, in such a personal way. The flag was supposed to protect these women, and instead, um, the flag covered up lies. Very personal. It could have happened to me or one of my soldiers. It's sad because a lot of these families will never know their daughter's stories and what really happened to them. But thanks to a soldier turned artist, they will be remembered. Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Locked and Loaded will be displayed in Grand Rapids, Michigan from September 19th to October 7th. About a half million people attend the public art festival there.